Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is we're happy that we have some guests here from Houston, right? St. Louis. St. Louis. Wrong area last time. Last time it was Houston. Anyway, we have Miss Carla and Miss Pat. You want to scout there and just give them a good shout out? There, there they are. are. There they are. There they are. And so they've come to watch the happy today. And so for them, we're actually going to do, we're, we're pretty busy. Uh, how many weddings do we have this weekend? Like eight? Six. Two parties. Oh, Lord, it seems like it's more than that. Anyway, are you sure? Like I made 100 Sarita, wedding bouquets. Mackenzie, Madeline, Ashley, Haven, Evolve. We've been, the we've been busy, put it that way. Let me just tell you. So, I feel like I've made 100 wedding bouquets. Like I probably have made... 40, 35 with all the bridesmaids. Anyway, so we're gonna. This is our last one to do. We're actually gonna. It's gonna be an all white. We're gonna do a stilby. We're gonna do some Playa Blanca roses. We have some white anemones. Ranunculus. Ranunculus. Blah. And then we've got some white stock. And Lusianthus. So this bride loves greenery. So we're gonna base it out with some huckleberries it's going to be more of a horizontal design you know miss stroud watches all the videos too oh she does miss mm -hmm. barbara the mom no jerry's wife oh jerry's wife mm -hmm. well you know the her, his his mom used to work here in phone right. sales anyway so we're going to get started on that i haven't cleaned anything so i'm going to go ahead and clean these roses real quick let's do this one well good then we won't have to send a picture for approval they That's can just right. watch they can just watch it on the happy then all right so did y'all have a good trip down here? We did. We did. Women leadership. Oh, fun. Well, awesome. I actually have customers in St. Louis. You do? Mm -hmm, I do. I, I'm, their bir I'm their birthday present. So when I get, I'll go up there and decorate their house for their birthday. For, not birthday, Christmas present. Yeah, I remember when I was Yeah. Yep. I, had, I used to have other clients up there too, but they've moved on. So we're going to do some ranunculus. Those are clean. We don't have to worry about those. I'm going to take that off there. Miss Pat was telling us that she is now on the altar guild. You have is y'all call it altar guild? Uh, no, it's the it's just the floral committee. The floral the committee. Cool. Yeah, for the great church. She got to do flowers for Easter. So we always want to take that off, that extra little leaf down there. That, for some reason, does not hold well a lot of times and tends to wilt a little bit. So let's get started. Oh, let's get green up first. Too. So we have family from Mexico, Louisiana, North Carolina, Nashville, the beach, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Washington State. Awesome. All over. Well, let me Texas. tell you, it's almost a perfect 10 outside today. Yes, it is. Unless beautiful. you like a little bit of heat. It's almost, it's virgin on being almost too hot, but for me, but it's perfect. Oh, good. So someone looked for the frog in Conway, but they couldn't find him. Where well, it's because he's about this tall off the ground. That's right. <laughs> he's, in front of the, he's in front of the Chamber of Commerce. On what's that word? Oak, now oak, I think it is oak. Right. You know that's oak is what the store comes off of. So, so oak. oak, but yeah, I mean he's he real is. Short. And he's he, a toad. They don't. He, you can't call him a frog. Yeah, he's not a frog. Said. He's a toad. So, and toad soak days is happening today. Started, oh, is that this week? Started this morning. Mm -hmm. Yep, it certainly did. So this bride likes lots of greenery. That's right. So we're gonna we're gonna give her her wish. We're gonna womp her up. We're gonna womp her up with some greenery. Where's that? We miss Rhonda from Memphis. Uh, Dill Street Festival is going on this weekend, I heard. Oh, really? I think McCrory has Mosquito Fest the weekend or the week and after Mother's Day, maybe. You know, that's a big deal in Woodruff County. So. There you go. What's going on? So there you have it. Mm -hmm. So there's that. So let's put in our roses first. You think that's enough greenery? 
listening for our start. Yeah, great. We should have told Jerry to make sure they watched. <laughs> I think Jerry has a big honeydew list for going on right now. I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't seem as excited as he should be, put it that way. So Jerry is one of our coworkers, and it's his daughter getting it's married. It's his daughter getting married. And so he took off today and tomorrow, and he said he had a lot of stuff to he do. He had a lot of stuff to do because we were like, you can't work. But no, man, i got to take care of my, my honey And, they were, honey and you know, he's putting, you know, he's like doing the green ring on the tables and uh -huh. stuff tomorrow. That's his task. Uh -huh. Miss Poonam is from India watching today. Oh, fun. We have Miss Jessica from Sweden. Miss Andrea is watching for the first time ever live. Oh, my goodness. Maiden voyage. Right. Another one here. I know she said 50-50, but. Look, somebody just said, I bet they're from Kama. He is a toad, not a frog. He is a toad, not a frog. That's right. We got the, we got the lesson when we were there last week. Oh, look, Miss Mandy's in the house. <laughs> there you go. They're just piling in here today. <laughs> so now we're going to go back and add our ranunculus on last. And the reason why we do that, we want to make sure those show up well. So Miss Sandra said greetings from Maine. She wanted to thank you for showing her friend around the store and even offering to drive him back to base. That was so kind of you. And she said she wore her apron all morning when she made homemade bread today. Oh my! Hey, guess what? I saw the like. Remember the last week or two weeks ago, we were in that wedding meeting, and the two women from Houston. That's uh -huh. what I was thinking about Houston. Popped in, and I was like, oh my goodness! And we tried to get out of the meeting, and we like two minutes later, we got up and they were gone. I saw that. I saw the person. One of the people yesterday down at the park, believe it or not, and I was like, oh my, we're so sorry we didn't. She goes, oh, they wanted to, we knew y'all were busy. So anyway, because I always feel bad if we can't see everybody. So long story short, they left on their own accord. So. Well, there we go. So what's the go. first greener that you put in the bouquet? Huckleberry. And if a bride, oh, is there a special name for this bouquet when a bride calls to ask? When Probably what? loose and airy. You know, loose and airy, hor more horizontal. I'm sure there's a technical term that I'm not up on right now, but anyway. But they want it to be a lot of greenery and kind of wide. So there's that. So let me go back and add a little bit of a still be to lighten it up. Think this will work? I think so. We'll send it to Jerry. Get the approval. Get the approval. That's right. What do y'all think? It's not all Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if the kids don't like it, she'll take it home. <laughs> Miss Brenda said she's so happy to catch you live. She rarely, rarely ever gets oh to watch Oh, my goodness. Live. So we'll have to remind him tomorrow, Christina, that he just needs to like angle this down. All right, Jerry, you got it. Yeah, down. I'm sure Jerry will. I'm sure he can. I'm sure Jerry will remember I'm all of that. Sure <laughs> Don't you imagine? Uh huh. So Miss Judy said, no, not Miss Judy. Miss Gail says it needs more roses. Okay. Mackenzie really wanted it to be. Oh my finger! Really wanted it to be um, lots of greenery. What a gorgeous. So now what are you putting in? Scabiosa. Look at these. These are amazing. Just a few of them. Yeah, he's never done. Oh, not that one had been. Just one more over here. I just like the texture of it, don't you? I, that's why I like them so much. Yeah, because it gives such good texture. These are all popped open already. Which some one? of them like have the greens on them still. This one? Don't some, well, don't some of them come like green first? Yeah, and then a lot of times, but these are those hybrid ones that... Oh, these are the hybrids. Yeah. Everyone's saying it's gorgeous. Okay, let me cut that one right there. 
So Miss Mandy in the house is the editor. Are you the editor? Publisher. 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 Oh. You know, you oh. Even, this even, is Miss Mandy. Even, even more important. Yeah. A She's story a big magazine. Deal here. Uh huh. Big deal. Big deal. You don't want me to write a thing. Uh, uh, here, here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, we like a check. I'm just going to tape this off. So she is. She had the idea to do the Women Leadership Conference three years ago, four, four years ago. And last yesterday they had the fourth or third event, fourth, fourth one, and it had over four, like 475 people. Oh my gosh! Right? Okay, That's yeah. amazing. There was a lot of people. And there we go. And one of my dear friends is on the Maddie. I'm really good friends with Maddie, yeah, so. She's like, I really need Diet Coke this week. We got a lot going on. Okay, so we'll, we will take a picture of this and send it to the bride to make sure that it's good. And if we need to add more greenery or take away something, that's when we have the opportunity to do that. So now I'm going to do a simple little clutch. I'll move this out of the way. I'll put those right there. So this one, oop, I sloshed, sloshed water. Oops. It's a hot mess around here. Yep, hot mess express. So this one, I had to use these roses. Oh, these so, are beautiful. The David Alsons. We were trying to figure out the name this morning, but Miss Frida couldn't remember. Uh, uh, uh. Juliet. Oh. Those are? They look more pink. Yeah, they do look more pink because the ones yesterday were more peachy. Yeah, they were peachy. Real peachy yesterday. So there's David Austin's. We're going to do a little bit of a variety of Queen Anne's lace. We're going to do some lavender hyson. You were talking about that table looking big. I wish the table was bigger today. Some viburnum. And then this is Arkansas grown lilac. Just got that in from Felton. And then we have some stock. And I forget the name of this every time. Another one of those. But I love it. So what's this for? This is just because the ladies came in and I didn't think they wanted to see a wedding bouquet today. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Cut something pretty. Something pretty, hopefully. So, so somebody said you didn't tape the bouquet. He taped it. I it taped was just it. so fast we didn't see it. Yeah, I did tape it. How much is this base? I don't see a price on it. Free. Free. It's not that bad, believe it or not. I would have to. Oh, chicken wire. So once again, let me show you how to do this. We're going to make our what I call our own little frog. So you're just gonna, this is just a piece like this. Ta -da. So you're going to cross it here and catch it. You're going to cross it here. You're going to make like a little pillow this way, and you're going to cross it this way. And I just use those ends to bend back around each other to hold it. So we have several people asking where in Arkansas is lilac grown? Felton, Arkansas. Belton, Belton Arkansas. Arkansas is right out. It is a suburb of Mariana, Arkansas. And they're the ones that grow our Arkansas grown peonies for us. We had the pleasure of doing the Felt, some of the Felton's children's weddings over the years. And they are still wonderful customers and they actually grow flowers. And actually, guys, up north, they ship the peonies are grown for Kennecott. They're in partners with Kennecott Wholesale. And then they ship the flowers up. And then they come back down here. <laughs> so now we're going to make a frame of the huckleberry. With one piece of soil. One, yep. Well, we're going to add a little bit more. I'm going to ask if that green stuff is called green dragon. Green dragon. I don't know. I've 
never heard of that. Uh, if you say the name, I'll remember what it is. But. Can't remember. I always thought it was kind of like not rice flour, but if free rice, if you're watching, you need to chime on in and hear. So. Put it there. So, Miss Rice. Rice says, said that her peonies are not doing very good this year. She has all kinds of blooms, but they will not open. Really? Goodness. Well, they've started cutting them at Felton. And we just got some, used them on a party yesterday, didn't we? We did. Someone else said Green Dragon. Oh, well, someone else said it's Green Dragon. They are confident in their answer. Okay. <laughs> green. It's Green Dragon, and we're just going to go with that. How's that? Both those hyacinth elders are beautiful. She had smell o vision because they can smell them. So the great thing about working with chicken wire and hyacinth is that you'll be able to put the bloom in there. If you were trying to do this in foam, it's virtually impossible to get hyacinth to go into foam. The stem is too mushy. Miss Kay is watching from Hattiesburg. Miss Eva is watching from Franklin, Pennsylvania. So, um, something Miss Pat was talking about was how do you get lilac to not wilt very quickly? I was just asked that, and honestly, as long as you do long, good cuts. So, when you're doing your lilac, you put in water. But I don't cut it long at all. You don't. Well, you know, I don't know if that's the secret to it or not. I was always taught, we had a, a Dutch designer, Els Hossemer, who was famous for flower care and stuff. You better watch out. He's going to yeah, get you all yeah, over there. I'm there. telling you, At you better dodge um, that you just do long, really long, clean cuts. And the more length on there, the more it can drink is what I was told. Like that would be great. Yeah. You probably would be better off to take some of the extra foliage off, though, because of course the foliage is like anything else is going to make it's going to drink first before the before the bloom. So Miss Charlotte said her pan, her ranunculus did not even come up this this year. Really? When do hydrangeas bloom? They're starting to. I was I mean, going to say, ours are starting, the green is starting to come depend, up. Yeah, they're, they're starting to green out a little bit. So how far in advance do we order flowers for weddings? <laughs> right now it's four weeks. <laughs> yeah, this, right now it's, as soon as we know what we need, we start the process. Listen, things like everything else in the world have changed so much as far as availability and what we can find and what we, you know, the things used to take for granted, they just aren't there anymore. Even carnations, Miss Frida couldn't find, right? Listen, and we're paying as much for a carnation as we did for a rose three years ago. Believe it or not. So I want y'all to smell this stock. It smells like clothes. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It has a, a clove, clove base to it. Stock is one of the flowers that's really growing on me. Well, it's pretty economical. So. The only downside about stock is that sometimes the shelf life doesn't last as long as some other things. So I'm going to have to clean these roses, guys. Sorry about that, but these. Is stock an annual? Mm, don't get me to line. They, and they're going to pop. Here, I'll, pu I'll pop one for so you. Pretty. The one upstairs, did you? S I don't know if I showed you the one up that was upstairs. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that, y'all. I'm going to pop some of these to make it show a little bit more color. Everyone's saying they love stock. 
Do you smash the stems of stock or do you, people still do that? Stock or I've heard of smashing the stems of lilac. But I think that's just to get more um, more water, you know, more reservoir of water. But I was told not to do that and to do this long, clean cut. Someone thought that these were called cabbage roses. Well, they're David Austin roses, which a lot of times when you're doing sales or whatever, they call them cabbage roses because they're as large as a cabbage or mimic a cabbage. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in. So pretty. Did you say this one is for a client? No. Just did it for y'all because I didn't think you'd want to see wedding bouquets. So. <laughs> <laughs> Susan says she loves the shape. I need to add one more over here. But now let's go back and add some roses on this side. Miss Shay from Grenada, Mississippi, cannot believe she caught you live today. Oh my goodness. Well, Friday, Monday, tell them where we'll be. Monday, we'll be in Pine Bluff. We'll be in downtown Pine Bluff. Is it downtown? We're not downtown, are we? I don't think we're downtown. I don't know. We're on 28th Street. I thought it was Olive Street. Oh, that's the Conway store. Right? Uh, no, it used to be off Olive. Oh, that's it. Now we're going to be on 28th. 28th Street. Come and yeah, see us. Come see us. Yep. They're giving, having lots of giveaways and cupcakes and lemonade and, and discounts. Yep. And then, like, store wide, everything is 20% off that day. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, I guess it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it is if you mention this. Chris said. I don't know. Our signs might not get done. They, the Shelby sent them to be done, and the, they said that they're too busy. But oh, she, my goodness. I think she's going to print Lord, we got to break script. out the magic markers, I That's guess. That's right. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We'll just break out our magic markers. I used to make a mean run through at McCrory for the football team. Wasn't any good at it, but I can make a run through. <laughs> Loves the shape of this one today. Oh, good. Well, what do y'all think? think? How far is Pine Bluff from Little Rock? Like 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Depends on who's driving. If it's me, maybe 20. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to add our little, our dragon stuff. Well, come on. It's been the talk of the day. I know. We have family watching from Greece and Australia today. Oh, fun. So how would you transport something like this? Very carefully. He said very <laughs> carefully. <laughs> Sometimes our delivery drivers tell us that. Like, really? You want me to yeah. that? I think that's why you find some of the styles like this really have to be done on location. Like, I've had customers over the years where I actually used to go to their house once a week and put flowers in their home. And so you could do more experimental structures that are, you know, 
lot easier to walk across the kitchen floor and kitchen to a, li a dining room than it is to a you know, delivery van. So, if you know what I mean. That's the dream, right? Fresh flowers every week. one customer that was her only request is that she had flowers in her house every week and believe it or not I was only like 20 years old when I was doing that so anyway there you go just a little garden party there so anyway we will see you on Monday thanks so much for joining us thank you ladies for being here today we appreciate y'all coming to see us hope y'all enjoyed it and anyway we'll see you on Monday from Pine Bluff and y'all have a safe and blessed weekend.